Okay then, so today we have something that's very relevant to the Cavendish Laboratory. This is a cloud chamber, which is one of the earliest methods we had for actually seeing subatomic particles. The original was invented by a person called Charles Wilson, and he actually created his device to create clouds in the lab so he could investigate how rainbows were formed. And he completed his experiments successfully, but after doing that, he realized that as well as seeing the thin clouds, he could see little straight trails inside his chamber. He wasn't entirely sure what they were, but when he chatted to Thompson, who was the uh, Cavendish professor back then, they realised what they were seeing were the trails left behind by charged particles. Now, Wilson's uh, device worked using a drop in pressure. This is a slightly more modern version. This is a diffusion cloud chamber. They're very simple. You can actually make one yourself if you've got a plastic box, some pure alcohol and some ice. Uh, there's lots of plans online. But this one's a, a purpose-built device. And uh, as I say, rather than using a drop in pressure, it uses a drop in temperature. So the base of this is cooled to a very low temperature. We have a little sponge at the top here, which is soaked in alcohol. That alcohol diffuses out, drops downwards, and as it drops in pressure, it becomes what we call supersaturated. Now that's, uh, you know, if you think of a, a normal gas, it will want to condense back into a liquid if the temperature drops. In this case, the temperature drops so quickly over such a small area that it can't condense quickly enough. So in that small region, which you'll see in the close-ups, um, there is a little layer where it will form droplets around anything it can. So if there's any dust or grit in there, it'll form droplets around those. But if charged particles travel through, it'll also form droplets around that charge. And so these droplets then form in a trail behind where the particle has pa travelled. And if you look closely in here, hopefully you can see some thick trails, which are alpha particles. So they're a form of radiation, they're essentially helium nuclei. Occasionally as well, you can see thinner, more wiggly trails. And these are electrons or beta radiation. And if you're very lucky and angled at just the right uh, angle, you can see cosmic rays travelling downwards and through it. And these are muons, which are very hard to detect, but are possible to detect with a cloud chamber if you're very lucky.